in the quick move to teaching online, I needed something on my PC that would mimic a pen so I could write on content or student work within our learning management system. So I hopped on Amazon and I bought a bike. This particular model cost $60. It's about the size of a piece of paper. And the nice thing about having one that big is from edge to edge with the pen, it's about the size of my computer screen. I hooked the tablet up to my PC. You can see I still have the mouse. The mouse works with it as well. The pen's got a nice feel. Whenever you write on the page, it feels just like writing with a pencil. I drew a box around the edge of the screen to show it was very easy to stay accurately in a certain location on the screen. Here I'm using PowerPoint. I'm in presenter mode and I just turned on the pen, which is uh, if you're in presentation mode, you just right click, go to pointer options, pull up the pen. You can change the color. But this will work in any application that has a white screen. So PowerPoint was just convenient. I found the pen to be very easy to draw accurately. You can go back and touch something up. If you want to draw a symbol or a shape, it's pretty easy. If you goof it up, you can go to the eraser and erase just the part that was uh, goofed up and then precisely fix whatever it is uh, that you drew. Here's an example of a little scroll that I, uh, I think I've been drawing these since I was a little kid. I start out with a squiggly line and then you just fill in the edges to create in the end what looks like a scroll. You can draw stars on st students' work. If you have a question about something, you can indicate that. You can go back and very accurately, say you want to draw something in this little square, you can draw that and it's, it's just really easy to do. Now the true test is, can I draw a horse? So let's erase the scroll using the erase tool. And then I'll go back to the pointer, to the pen, and draw a horse. Um, this kind of looks like a lizard so far. It got a little too much sticking out of its mouth there. But I'm just freehanding this. You can see why I'm in technology. I'm not an artist. A horse has a long body. Uh, I've seen a lot of horses drawn recently, so. Uh, they all have humpbacks, and uh, this kind of looks like a camel. I'll come back and fix that later. Draw the rest of the head, draw a dot for an eye. Boy, that really does look like a lizard. How about I give it some horns? It's missing uh, the fourth leg, so let's draw the fourth leg. Got to have hooves on your horse. And of course, I'm main. Finally, you, uh, you have to have a tail. Nice, big, bushy tail. And that little tongue is bothering me. So I'm going to go back to the eraser to show you how precisely you can do things. I can erase just just that little lizard looking thing that was sticking out. I can add a nostril, make my eye a little bit bigger. And I, I got to get rid of the hump. So I'm going to go back to the eraser tool, erase that, go back to the pen tool and try to draw the back of the horse to where it looks a little more like a horse. Go down, connect to my hoof that I already had. 
connect the tail. And I'd say I've done an honest C plus on my horse.